With the introduction of a new amplifier lineup, it may be a good idea to elaborate on the Average Power Enhancement Circuit, or APEC for short, and what it does. The best way I can think to do that is to compare what happens along the signal path with and without this feature. So let's have a look at your ordinary multi-stage audio amplifier. A low current line level signal is fed through the pre-amplifier stage and boosted to match the input threshold of the main amplifier stage. Trouble is, with a variety of different line level standards from one source unit to the next, the preamp stage is invariably bound to over or under amplify the input signal, resulting in clipped output or poor input sensitivity. And therein lies the benefit of a gain control, which allows us to throttle the signal carried to the main amplifier stage for optimal efficiency. The APEC feature takes this one step further. As you increase the gain and the peaks approach the threshold of clipping, a dynamic range processor engages, allowing you to continue raising the volume by applying the gain only to the portion of the signal that isn't already at its peak clean amplitude. The result is a device fundamentally incapable of producing clipped output, simultaneously allowing for gain settings much higher than that of any conventional amplifier, and therefore much higher output levels. You may notice that there is no clipping indicator on any of our new amplifiers. In its place, there is an LED showing whether or not the gain is sufficient for the APEC feature to engage as we raise the volume. And by the time that it does, a conventional amplifier will have already reached the threshold of clipping marking the limit of its usability. Meanwhile, the output of the APEC enabled amplifier will continue to increase for as long as there's dynamics in the input signal. So even if the APEC light is solid red, the amplifier still produces clean output. In fact, many listeners favor the loudness effect of dynamic range compression applied to the substage and adjust the gains to keep the circuit active at all times. This is tried and true technology. In fact, many different forms of dynamic range processing have long since earned their distinction in the studio and live venue. However, this is nothing short of a game changer in the mobile audio market, and AD Designs is here to lead the way.